Jackie. Huh? Sasa. Huh? Sasa. Huh? Mm. Eh, uh, kukubalika kwa chokoze kabisa silalo usipu. Bye. Raise my emotional stuff to feel you are good at it but kuna mambo emotional pia ile lazima ku emotional eh eh kwani utakuwa tu tu stiff mpaka lini oh is sad ku nje kwa man nenda kungu ado us dembo by now una jones much as me na ku understand pia wewe tu ungejaribu tu utoke kwa hiyo stream yenye umeshikilia hiyo tough stream yenye umeshikilia kidogo tu niambia i think nakupenda too much that's why i had i had Hata mimi nakupenda. Hata mimi nakupenda, wewe. On Monday. Yes, the Sunday. I have a lot, let me tell you. Yeah, hey, you I have a lot of love, but that's why you have you have me. Mwenye, I don't know you have a lot in your mind. Kwa zingine, it won't cost you much to share. Yeah, but you see, that's why you have a companion. Na iko na pressure, let me tell you, iko na pressure. Sasa si hapo na pia na fuck tafuta mtu ni atakusaidia kwa sababu you you can die for it. Hi guys, it's Chuchi. I'm currently at work and this is my lunch break. And I don't have the strength to do this video. But maybe it may inspire many. <sighs> Initially I have never told about my story uh, my late partner who was called Steve Biko. And today guys it's one year down the line. Just like that. Today is 5th of May 2022 and we lost him on the 5th of 2021 around this hour I was called while I was at work and it was on a Wednesday You know Biko was so dedicated in his work and I thought he was at work This is now the time I'm understanding that I think he was struggling with things but outside here he would put a smile on his face but initially he was crashing inside yeah just as a, about work today i was called at work at around this hour and i was told about that that person just went straight to the point mambo witni niko hapa kwa biko and ni kama ametuacha i can still remember those words do i have the courage to say my story being a 5th of may i don't have the strength i feel tired I just feel tired guys. Today morning when I woke up I told God Today when I woke up I knelt down and prayed and I told God I don't think I'll be strong today Please give me strength 
to overcome this day. It applies to my birthday. I did not want to celebrate it. I hated it. But one thing I did, I knelt down and asked God, please make my day easier for me. It's been one year. It's still tough. You're living a day at a time. It's not easy. But I am where I am right now because of the grace of God. He has given me the strength to tackle my situation. Hey guys, my son is almost turning two years. <laughs> Baby, it is so unfair. My birthday is in April. Biko died in May. Tiju's birthday is in June. Those are three heavy months for me. Three heavy months for me. What really happened to Biko? I don't feel like I still have the strength to say anything right now. I can't. I don't have the strength. But it was too chaotic. It was too dramatic. And I think that that's why God, God loves me. That is why God is taking care of me and my son. <sighs> I still find it hard to accept anything. Like right now I just keep here to have my lunch table nap. But I can't. Why? Because it's May 5th. It's May 5th. To make it worse at 3 p.m. Why, Lord? Why did you choose me? Why did you choose us? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes I fear to call his name. <laughs> Sometimes I fear to think of him <laughs> because it kills me. It kills me so much. Sometimes I look at my son, knowing that one day he'll ask me of his dad. I don't know what I'll say, and that's why up to now, I have never removed the pictures from my wall. There's a time I was talking to my sisters, and then TJ just went and climbed the dining table. Started staring at his dad. <laughs> he was staring at the picture. And We all noticed, my sisters and I, we, we saw him. He went to the pictures and he touched them. This is the second time he's doing that. I 
I promised myself I will be strong today. But it's not easy. It is not easy. I told myself I'll be offline today. I found myself posting him. I found myself posting him everywhere. I hate this day. I hate this day. I hate this day. I hate it. I hate it. I wish I could just sleep and someone wakes me up. Wake up. The day has ended. Please wake up. The day has ended. <sighs> Thank God I'm even at work. <laughs> because there's that, that distraction. Because if I was at home, I don't know. I just don't know. Biko, wherever you are, you are left a cut, a deep cut in my heart. And just like that, one year is gone. We sleep in grieving. We now start celebrating anniversaries instead of quit anniversaries. Celebrating. Ah, oh. hey, Biko. Hey, how many weather when how many weather okay you are alive we got something else but this one at that time they sit down and ask god at least we separate other than the struggles i've been through with this man and then when we are starting to be at par I was always concerned about Biko. Always, always concerned about Biko. At one time, whenever we don't talk, I was concerned. There's a time he was offline on Monday. Actually, it was in March last year. He was offline. And I even sent my brother. I was at work. I even sent my brother. Bondo wangalia kwa nyumba. Kama Biko yuko. He was not picking his call. I called his friends. His phone was off and Biko had a tendency of not charging his phone. All the time his phone was either 2% or less than 5% and you know he had a busy schedule. I need this guy. Nilijaribu. Nilijaribu. As a woman, I tried. That day, he opened his phone yeah, and called me immediately. I can't remember when I texted him. Now, Mabia, stop making me get so worried. It is not cool. It is not cool. Whenever I'm worried, I don't think straight. I feel so tired. I don't know when I will recover from this May month. I don't know. I don't know when I'll recover from this May 5th. It will be a dark month for me. I don't know. I don't know when I'll recover from it. So guys. It's 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 a hard day for me. I'm thankful for everyone who has sent me hugs. Thanks to everyone who has sent me prayers. And continue praying for me and my child, me and my family. And most of all, um, because family, they also need the prayers. Especially mom. 
I do pray for her. As much as I lost a partner, for a mother to lose a son, that's just another thing. And despite everything that happened between me and them, and as my grandmother always says, never pay bad with bad. Right now we are in good terms. Yeah, we are, we are good with his family. I take TJ to visit them. And they welcome me very well. And I want it to be like that. Because TJ is theirs. I can never deny them. Their grandchild. As I know many know, TJ has a sister. I, I don't want to talk much about his sister. All I can just do is to pray for her. And my wish is for the kids, the siblings to know each other. And maybe one day they will, if God allows it to, because it's really tough, guys. It's, it's, it's tough. <sighs> we never choose the life that we really want to live. Sometimes we just find ourselves in that fix and getting hard, getting out is hard. So guys, at least... I've let out my pain for today. Every day is a new chapter. Every day is a new day. I never thought I'll record any video today because I just wanted to be offline. I just wanted to act like a zombie and I wanted to look for a drink to ease my day, but I'm at work. I can't do that. <laughs> I find myself drinking coffee. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the support that you guys are giving me. It means a lot to me. And see you guys on the next one. Much love and stay safe, guys. Mwah, goodbye. My lunch break is over. I have to go back to the office. I'll just take coffee and relax myself. Goodbye, guys.